Hello, Rene here. In my previous videos, I rather ruled out the heavy artillery, but this may not suit everybody's interest or budget. But today I'm back with an integrated 300B amplifier, which will not cost you an arm and a leg. I bought it from the same dealer around the corner, in the depths of China, of course, who sold me the big Setsu monobox I already reviewed. This video is restricted to unboxing, presentation of this device and the tube setup, but I'm already preparing the second part that will dig deeper into the matter, so if you are a 300B aficionado, please stay tuned. When we have a look at the nameplate, we find that the Chinese have hidden a small surprise here. It should say applause audio, but we have a funny letter twist here, applause audio, but I hope this won't have any influence on the sound of the device. The weight is 16 kilograms. Build quality is absolutely convincing. The device makes a very resilient impression. Nothing is loose. There are no unwanted vibrations anywhere. Paint is nice. It's certainly not a magnet for fingerprints like most stainless steel housings. On the right side we have a sturdy toggle switch to power on and off the device and it has a nice click to it. The ammeter is in the middle and on the right side you have the volume knob which runs smoothly but it's a little bit small especially for bigger hands Thanks to the recess here, you can still grab it conveniently. On the rear panel, we can see two pairs of RCA sockets, which is quite a luxury for this price range. The speaker terminals are full metal, very solid, not plastic, like you might expect from the price tag of this amp. You have the choice between 4 ohms and 8 
booms. And now it is time to put in the tubes. I'm putting in the rectifier tubes first, which is a pair of Nanjing 5Z2P in this case. You have to be careful that the cone is aligned with the groove in the socket and if this is the case it will slide in easily. Same on the left side. The line amplification is taken care of by two old Shanghai 6F3 tubes. We look for the gap between the first and the ninth pin and correspondingly we look for the same spot here in the socket and it should slide in easily. We press it down and wiggle our way down. Okay. Second one. We gently press it down while we are still moving the tube. That's it. Finally, we proceed to the pleasure of inserting the two Linlife 300B tubes. Put them in place and push them down with a slight click. We have managed this task. Same procedure, click and we're done. The most famous competitor for this device is of course the top dog Raison Boyu 50. More about the two devices in my next production. I hope to see you again.